In this video, I will show you how you can install Zorin OS on a persistent USB drive. As in my previous Linux installation videos, this will not be a live USB drive, but a full installation on a USB drive. That means you can update the system and everything you change or do inside Zorin OS will be saved to the drive. And of course, you will be able to take the USB drive to any machine that supports UEFI and boot into Zorin OS. Now before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links and commands from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. I am here on the official Zorin OS website and the first thing that we need to do, we need to download the ISO. So go to download Zorin OS. If you want, you can get the pro version with some additional layouts, tools and support. But in my case, I will scroll down. Here you can find the free versions. The light version is for PCs that are 15 years old or older. So it should be more lightweight. The core version is the standard one. So I will go with this one and download. If you want, you can subscribe for the newsletter. But in my case, I will skip it. And now the downloading started. So let's wait for that one. Download complete. Here is the ISO. This is the ISO with the live environment and how this usually works is that you first need to boot into this live environment and then from there you can install Zorin OS on a drive of your choice, in our case on a USB drive. And in order to boot into this live environment we first need to flash this one on a second USB drive. So yes, you will need two USB drives. The first USB drive for this live environment can be any off the shelf stick, it doesn't matter. But once we are inside the live environment, we need to install Zorin OS on a second USB drive and this one should be a more faster one. So it should have a decent read-write speed, otherwise the system will be very slow because the USB drive will be the bottleneck and it doesn't matter how fast the system is in general if the drive with the operating system is slow. So get a decent USB drive. With that said, let's flash this live environment on a USB drive and therefore we will use a tool called Rufus. This is Rufus, the official website, and I use this tool in every Linux installation video so far, so if you were following me then you already know how this one works. Let's download that one, here is the link, and let's open it, here it is. And now let's plug in the first USB drive for the live environment, so the off the shelf stick. I will do it as well. It has detected my USB drive. Let's select the ISO, this one here, and open. You can leave everything else on default, and just start. ISO image mode is okay. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue. And now let's wait. Done. USB drive is ready, so we can close that. We flash the ISO with the live environment on a USB drive, and now we need to boot into it. I will assume that you know how to boot from a USB drive, but if you don't, you can find a link to a guide down in the description. So you plug in the USB drive, you restart the system, and then while it's restarting, you press one of the function keys, usually it's F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer, and then you should get the boot menu, and then inside the menu, select the USB drive, and it should boot into it. I will do the same on my machine as well, and I'll see you in the live environment. Here we are in the live environment and first we need to select try Zorin OS. So if you want you can try this one out, this is what you will get after the installation. And since this is a live USB drive meant primarily for testing, you can do whatever you want, nothing will be saved to the drive. Every time you boot into this live environment you will get a fresh new instance. This is also true for all the files that you create on this one. Everything will be resetted and deleted after you restart. But this is not what we want, we want to install this one on a USB drive so we can use it as a normal system. Now it's the right time to plug in the second USB drive where we will install the full Zorin OS. I will do it as well. So let's install it, go to install Zorin OS. Here is the installer, I will just go with the defaults, so English is ok. Continue, keyboard layout ok. I want to download updates and install third party software, ok. Now this is the important part, here we need to select something else and continue. Here we need to create the partitions. Down here we need to select the USB drive that we plugged in previously. In my case this is the right one. And you can also see which one I'm using, SanDisk Extreme Pro. And then find the drive up here, this is the one. And go to New Partition Table, continue. Then select Free Space. 
and select the plus. The first partition should occupy 500 megabytes and the file system should be EFI system partition and OK. Then again, select free space and add. The second partition should occupy all the rest of the space. File system ext4 is OK and the mount point should be root. OK. Now make sure to select this one for formatting. All right, we are done partitioning, so we can install now. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue. Here I will just continue with the defaults. Region is OK. Now add your username and a very strong password. Continue. And now wait for the installer. This can take about 30 minutes, it depends how fast your USB drive is. So grab a cup of coffee and I'll see you when this one is done. Finally, installation complete, but we are not done yet. So select continue testing. And now let's open the terminal. Terminal. And write lsplk. Here are the two partitions. The second one is mounted under target. So let's find that one. Other locations, computer and target. Here we need to go inside the boot folder. And now let's mount the first partition, sdb1. sudo mount slash dev slash sdb1 to the target boot efi folder here. So slash target slash boot slash efi. All right, now let's see what's inside. Here we have again the efi folder. And inside we have boot and Ubuntu. Because Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu. Now all of this seems fine, but if for some reason you don't see those folders on your site, or maybe your system won't boot with this new USB drive, then you will need to fix this EFI partition. This was the case on my site previously as well, and to be honest I'm a bit surprised that this time I have both of those folders now while I'm recording, but for this video I will try to fix the EFI partition anyways. So let's close that. And with those two partitions mounted like this, right sudo apt install grub dash efi and install. Now as I said previously you can do whatever you want with this live environment, you can install packages, you can change stuff, but after you restart everything will be resetted as it was before. And now write the following command, this very long command. You can find all the commands down in the description and execute. And then let's sudo chroot into this target folder. And now write sudo grub install, again a longer command that you can find in the description, and execute. Installation finished, no error reported, so we can exit and exit again. And now we are done with the live environment, we can restart the machine and boot into this newly installed Zorin OS. Again, while the machine is restarting, you need to open the boot menu and then select the new USB drive. I will do the same on my machine as well, and I'll see you there. And this is it full Zorin OS running from the USB drive. And we already have updates, software updates available. So that means you can update the system, you can do everything what you would normally do with Zorin OS running on a hard drive. Let's close the welcome screen, I will update later. So as I mentioned in previous videos I also showed you how to install Ubuntu, Manjaro, Linux Mint, Kali Linux, Pop OS and even Chrome OS on a persistent USB drive. So if you want to run Chrome OS with full Google Play support on a USB drive, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's all for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. I really appreciate it, it makes the channel grow, it motivates me, so thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.